Hello and welcome to the video show, the show where I answer questions that people have about video. And what I've done to get started is write down a load of the frequently asked questions that I get, printed them out, cut them all up, uh, put them in this box so that I've got loads of uh, good, good ideas for content for these videos. Also going to point out that I film a number of these in one go. So this is the fourth one I filmed uh, in this, uh, in this uh, time of shooting. Um, and I think that's a really good way of getting a number of videos ready. So if you're thinking about uh, making videos for yourself, really top tip is just to sit down and make four or five videos in one go um, to just get, to get started. So you've got that library of videos ready to go. And then next time you sit down, make five, four or five more. And then you've sort of got eight, nine, eight, nine or 10 ready to go whenever you, whenever you want. So you don't have to film all the time. Um, really good way of breaking it up um, and yeah, feel free to use that. So shoot four or five videos in one go if you can. So today's question is, oh, <coughs> sorry. What is Video Toolkit and can it help? Video Toolkit, for those of you who don't know, is our membership group. Um, and it's our membership group aimed at people that want to make videos for themselves. So the Video Toolkit is in two parts. So this, the first part is the website side of things where it's got all of our content about helping people create videos themselves. So if they want to get started shooting stuff uh, on their iPhones, um, on their camera they've got, it tells them what they need to do to script, shoot and share uh, their videos. Even some stuff on editing as well. Um, but it's all in there, everything to get started and everything to fit the budget you've got as well. And what we do is the way we add to that is we listen to what our members have got to say in our members group. And what our members group is, is where everybody's sharing the videos they're making um, and, and sharing ideas for kind of new equipment, new ways of shooting, new ways of scripting, new ways of sharing. Everybody's on there sort of coming up with new ideas. And then when they ask us to add something new, we add it to the Video Toolkit website. So it works really well in sort of um, building our, our library of content. Um, so the video toolkit is aimed at people who want to create videos themselves. They're not really sure about where to get started with video, but they know that they want to do it themselves. So if you want to, if you want to see what it's all about, head to this link here. I'm going to link it up. Um, take a look at it, um, and then join the video toolkit if you want to make your own videos yourself and really start helping your business stand out by creating videos. I think that tip I mentioned at the start fit in quite well with this question as well. How did that happen? Uh, so that's it for episode 88. If you do nothing else after watching this video, head over to um, the Video Toolkit uh, site, click this link, 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 um, and take a look about what the Video Toolkit is all about. And if it's right for you, then join.